When I get home at the end of the day, walking up to a hundred year old plus house is just great. I mean, there's so much history. I often think about what the first owner must have felt like doing it and designing it and building it. Uh, it's, it's beautiful, it really is a great sensation. I bought this house from the Genovese family who owned it since 1911. They ran a corner grocery here and uh, the grocery store closed uh, in the late 70s and the two old ladies lived here just about until I purchased it in 2002. When we first saw the house, uh, it had been on the market for a while, needed some work, but we knew that the structure was good and the layout was good, so there was something to work with. Um, so we're heading downstairs to the space that we really, we really dedicate to the kids. My favorite part of the house is definitely the kitchen. We love to entertain people and we put a lot of time and thought into what the kitchen would be like. This is uh, really, we thought it was gonna be for eating, but instead it's become sort of an art studio space. Well, when you stand in front of this house and you look at it, the first thing that most people say is, you own that house? Because everybody knows this house. It's a very prominent house. It's a very beautiful house. And it stands on a corner, and it's a grand old lady. And she says, hmm, hello. Very nice to meet you. What I truly love about the characters in this neighborhood is that you see all walks of life. And everything cool and hip happens on Magazine Street. There's still a lot of little corner uh, bars and those little dives that make New Orleans and its underbelly so beautiful. We picked Uptown because of its proximity to the park and uh, the fact that it's a very family-friendly place. And this house always stood out. It just looked cool, it appealed to me. And I remember one day strolling by and there's a for sale sign. It had just gone up, the for sale sign had just been put up on the street and closed the deal. Robert bought this chandelier for us to hang, which we've never been able to get done. So now it's become a piece of art in our house, which it, it works, I think. I don't know. No one's told us to uh, get rid of the chandelier, so we're working with it. It's uh, kind of funny, actually. This was established as a different city back in 1830 called Lafayette, and it was subdivided, and it was subdivided, uh, the plots were much larger, and that was to attract the, the big money back then. So some of the best places, my favorite places here in Uptown in the Garden District are, are the, well, this cemetery, specific Lafayette Cemetery, is very beautiful. So there's a great little spot for a picnic, it's called The Fly, it's right behind Audubon Zoo. You can hang out there, watch the ships go by, um, really cool little spot. If I were coming to New Orleans for the first time to live with a family, Uptown's it. It's perfect. <laughs>